Welcome everybody. Today in this video I'm going to focus on how we can use data services for data migration and discuss the pre-built solutions delivered by SAP. SAP has pre-built data migration content for SAP ERP. Here are some examples. Later on we'll be demonstrating the actual cost center content. Here is more content built for SAP CRM. SAP is always building more content and this is not the complete list but it will give you an idea of what is available. Now let's have a look at the actual solution in more detail and what comes part of the pre-built package. When doing data migration, you will have an SAP system, which will be the target environment. Then you also have a source environment, which we refer to as a legacy environment. Now between this, we will use data service to create a staging area. This staging area is where we will work with the data before pushing the data into the target environment. To get the data into the staging area, we will need to extract the data. During extraction, we have the option to profile the data also. Once we have the data, we can cleanse the data, then transform the data into a structure that will suit SAP. Within the staging area, we also can load the data from SAP. The data from SAP is related to the configuration of the module you are trying to update with data. The reason we load this SAP configuration data into the staging area is so we can validate the data and ensure it meets the requirements before inserting into SAP. So the next step is to use the data to validate and then start loading. We can load the data into files or RDocs. To transfer the data into SAP, we recommend using RDocs. Now, once it is in SAP, to ensure that everything is correct, we can do a reconciliation between the legacy and the target environments to ensure we have loaded all the data. We achieve this by loading source and target data into the staging area, where we can then compare the data. The other benefit is that we've got pre-built reports and dashboards so that we can view and monitor the data migration. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use the cost center data migration content. What I'm going to be doing is reading from an Excel file as my source environment and then loading into SAP. Now in real situation if Excel file isn't your source environment you just need to modify it a bit to read from the correct environment. Now over here I've got a cost center Excel sheet with my general data and I have text. Now with your general data as you can see, we've got the cost center code, the value to, value from date. And then the text, we've got once again the control unit cost center, and then the language key, and then the description. So as you can see, we could actually load this in multiple languages if need be. And if we go within data services, yeah, I've already got an actual job open. Now with the job, it's got a multiple steps. But now the important thing to remember is the job actually has got global variables. On the global variables, there's a whole bunch of settings. These settings tell you what it needs to do and which steps it must do. For example, now I've got profiling off. So if you want to profile on, you would then say yes, and then we do an extra step. Profiling step is the step over here. Now to just to give you an example, if we open this and open this, each step is made up of three basic data flows. One is to generate the data, one is to validate the data, and then one is to enrich the data. Then once again, in the next step, text is to map it, validate, and enrich. So as you can see, it's made up of three steps for every step. This piece here deals with the general data, which was the first tab in the Excel sheet, and then this step deals with the second tab, which was the text. Now just to give you an example, we click over here. Here's the Excel sheet we're going to read. Click there, we can see the data, 9006 and 9007 is the cost centers. Now if we go into SAP, just to ensure that I don't have the cost center ready, I just press enter, you can see the cost center does not exist. If we go over here, I just want to show you that there's no RDocs. Okay, so there's no RDocs. Well, that selected time frame between that hour. What I'm going to do now is go back into data services. I'm going to execute this job, which should read the Excel file, go through all the steps, and hopefully it create our RDoc inside SAP. Okay, now we see a little log. Okay, now the process is completed. So now if we go into the RDocs and we execute. Okay, we can see that it's gone into RDocs as processed successfully, they're green. 
So if we go back to our cost centers and we press enter now, we have the cost centers created according to the Excel sheet. If I go again, 1007, same thing. Okay. And that is how we can use data migration content from SAP. That brings us to the end of our demo. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please contact us on info at brblue.co.za.